Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline Lopez. We are on day four of my Christmas series. I'm going to be doing a new Christmas video every day in November. That's a total of 30 Christmas videos and I am very excited to share every single one of them. Now today, per your request, I am doing a review on the $30 flocked Christmas tree from Walmart. I am setting it up, giving you an honest review on it, adding some lights so that way you can decide if this is a purchase you would like to make. It is always going to be linked um, in the description box down below for you. Now also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time that i post a new video like comment and share and let's get into the video okay so this portion of the video is going to be kind of vlog style because i really wanted to show you this um 30 walmart christmas tree um it is in my diy tree collar i have that video up already i posted yesterday um, so I decided next I would bring you the tree because I did get questions on it. So we're going to go ahead and work on this today. It was supposed to be a video for next week, but oh well. <clears throat> Here is the tree that I bought. Um, let me tell you, I do not think that it's going to look like this. But I'll still try and fluff it so that I can give it a fair chance. Um, I still like it. I think it's still really, really good for the price. It was only $30. This is half of it, by the way. Um, it comes in two pieces. It's only a six foot tree. So this is um, part one. Um, of course, it does still have like the little feet and stuff, which I am going to add. Um, I always do a tree skirt under my tree collar anyway. And then here is um, the second part, which is the top. And let me tell you, I think the top looks better than the bottom. Again, it may just be because I haven't propped it. Um, I'm sorry, not fluffed it up properly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set you up on a tripod tripod i'm sorry and have you kind of watch me fluff it i haven't cleaned the floor i don't know if it you could tell in my tree collar video let me show you um so that we could kind of see what the fallout was um rubber band that came from that but i'm so far so good like there is not a lot of fallout um i was expecting um there to be much more um when i touch it um like it's not even that bad like I'm you can see me pulling on it and I don't have anything on my hands so really really pleased with that from this tree again I was expecting for it to be really bad so again let me go ahead and set it up and I will show you what it looks like Okay, here it is. I love the way it looks. Again, I'm still going to put a tree skirt under there and I'm going to move my extension um, to the back. But look at how beautiful it is. All of this is with the $30 Flocks Christmas tree. And then I, oops, sorry. I also used the wrong way one box of 300 clear mini lights i got the white strands um because it is flocked yes you can still see them but it would have been worse if they would have been the green ones so i'm going to do my best to hide all of that with the ornaments i would love to have more lights so probably about half of another one of those i think i have a small buck book box somewhere of lights so i may add that but so far i think it looks really good this is a small accent tree if this was my main tree i would most definitely do more lights maybe add some fairy lights as well oh let me show you the floor 
there is very little fallout that's just like my mess from this but there is very little fallout again i am super impressed by that i love this tree um i'm gonna start decorating it today because it is absolutely gorgeous um as you can see it's not super tall um it's six feet from where it touches the floor all the way to the tippy top of this and i went ahead and folded that in half so it's not that tall um for oops for reference i am under five feet i am 411 and you can kind of see how it was when i was standing next to it um again it's still a very good tree i would love to have multiples of this is my if my house was bigger i would most definitely um, do that these are really nice also if you like to do multiple trees together um, because again it's perfect it's not too wide but it's also not too thin so this is not a pencil tree this isn't even a slim tree I think it's bordering on slim um, I think it says like that how wide it is is about three feet and I think it's a little bit less than that but not quite like two and a half um, highly highly recommend this tree for $30 it is most definitely a deal flock trees are usually more expensive so getting one for $30 with lights um, that box was about $8 I believe so under $40 you can have um, this beauty in your home especially if you're transitioning from real to faux I think this is a good transition piece so that you don't have to spend a lot of money this does not have realistic branches or anything like that. Um, I have one in my living room that does have more realistic branches. Um, but this is still a really, really good option because it is flocked. Um, it um, looks better than if it was just like the normal um, little branches. Also, it does not look as full as the picture, but it still does look really really good um i think it doesn't look as full as the picture because the picture is probably of one that they had not packaged yet so some of these branches hadn't um had an opportunity to like um settle like flat a lot of these um not a lot of them but some of them are like really really flat and others have more of like the shape that you would expect some of them have more flocking than the others but that's pretty normal and standard um, again, highly, highly recommend this tree. Um, this is where I'm going to leave you because I don't want to decorate it until another video. This was more just of setting up this tree and giving you a review on it. Um, if you want to know how I made this basket, I do have the video linked um, here at the bottom. I did this tree collar for $3. And come back tomorrow for maybe... A decorated tree actually no it's gonna be for Saturday so you're gonna have to wait a couple days but still I'm gonna decorate it today because I am so excited to do it before I left you I wanted to show you the corner that it is going to be on and I know that that's in front of a closet but that is where it makes sense for this room also for lighting purposes since I get the light from the window next to me which would be um, directly towards the tree um, most trees are corner trees anyway so I really like the placement right here and I went ahead and added my DIY snowflake sign this was made from scrap wood actually free wood from like a pallet or something um, and I love it so I thought it would look great here and it's going to match all the trees that I do anyways so again I love this little corner that it is in so as always, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time that I post a new video. A like, comment, and share. That really helps my channel to grow. And thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. You have a very good rest of your day. Bye-bye.